Alright guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to write the source code for the game called Memory using C++ with the Allegro library. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I have been in my past tutorials. Instead of going through the program line by line, I will just take key parts of the program and explain how they work. Now before we start, go down in the description, you will find a link that will take you to my blog which will have the source code for this game and the other games that I've written. Now for this tutorial I'm going to assume that you are familiar with one dimensional and two dimensional arrays and have a basic understanding on how C++ and Allegro work. Now let's start. As you can see I have a whole bunch of constants. Um, some of them are for um, are giving values to the card suits, the other ones are giving values to the card states which are face up, face down and removed. Also have a few 2D and one dimensional arrays. The first two dimensional array I have is called card suit and it's gonna be holding the suit of the cards. Um, then I have card location X and card location Y which are holding the position on the screen where I'm going to be putting the cards and card state is holding the state of all the cards and as you can see all the cards start out as facing down okay the first function I'm going to talk to you guys about is called mix card the purpose of this function is to shuffle the cards at the beginning of the program so every time you run the program the cards will start at a different location now uh, as you can see this card is going to make use of the 2d array called card suit now here's how uh, this card works this is a representation of the 2d array called card suit now what mix card does it it chooses randomly two squares now let's call this square square one and this one square two. Now what it does is it takes the value of square one, passes it to a holder, then takes the value of square two, passes it to square one, and then takes the value of the holder, passes it to square two. Essentially what mixed card is doing is switching the value of one square to another. Very simple. Now the other program, the other function is called void initialize and the purpose of that is just to initialize all the the cards on the screen. So um, 117 is the height of my cards and one um, 81 is the width of each card so I make use of these to be able to print them at the location I want as you can see I am starting on the screen I am starting at location 80 for the x value and 116 for the y value Alright, the next functions I'm going to talk to you about are called get array x and get array y. They are probably one of the most important functions in the whole program. Now before I go into how they work, you need to realize something. Now this is going to be the setup of how the cards are going to appear on the screen. As you can see, the setup is very similar to the card suit setup I showed earlier. They're both 2x4s and it's also very similar to the card state array which is also a 2x4 and that's by design. That's so that um, if I want to find the card suit or state of the first card all I need to do is plug in 00, 0 in card suit or in card state to find out what I need to know. And if I want to find out um, what the second card is all I need to do is plug in 01. Now, 
here's how get array x and get array y work now as you can see on the screen the upper left corner of the first card is going to be at 80 and the upper right corner of the the first card the x value is going to be 160 now what get array x does is that when you click on that card which is what you're going to be clicking between 80 and 160 it's going to take that the value of wherever your mouse is is going to divide it by 81 and it's going to subtract it by 1 now when you do this for the first card you're going to get a value of 0 if you do the same for the second card you're going to get a value of 1 for the third a value of 2 for the fourth a value of 3 and it's essentially the same thing that get array y does but it does it in the y direction and it divides by 117 instead of 81 okay now the next function I'm going to talk to you guys about is count faces and the purpose of this function is just to find how many cards are facing up now as you know in this game if two cards are facing up you have to check if there are a pair if there are a pair you move them if they're not you flip them back facing down all this function is doing is going through the array card state and it's checking for the value that is assigned to face up now once it runs across that value it's gonna increment this integer by one now the next function is called find card suit and as the name suggests it's going to find the suit of the card that the user clicks on now it's going to do that by plugging the values that get array y and get array x return it's going to plug those values into card suit and then that will give us the uh, suit of the cards that have been clicked on now it's going to do one additional thing is that when it clicks when you click on the card it's going to check to see if the the card is facing up already or the card has been removed if those are false it's going to change the state of that card to facing up the next function is called is match and the purpose of this function is to find if the two cards facing up are pairs now it's going to do that by going through the array card state and it's going to search for the value assigned to facing up once it's, it finds the value assigned to facing up it's going to store that array location into x1 and y1 and also into x2 and y2 because remember it's going to find two cards facing up then once it's done storing those values it's going to plug those values into the card suit array and then it's going to check if those two cards have the same suit if they have the same suit it's gonna set their state to remove if they don't have the same suit it's gonna set their state to facing down the last function is draw update which is pretty self explanatory so I'm not gonna go much into it but essentially it's just gonna draw the different sprites when I need it to if the cards are face if the card is supposed to be facing down it's gonna draw the face down sprites if it's supposed to be facing up it's gonna draw the face up sprite if it's supposed to be removed it's gonna draw the remove sprite so go through it um, I think it's pretty self explanatory if you still don't understand it send me a comment and I'll try to help you out with that and that's pretty much it um, let me know how what you think of this new style of tutorial I'm trying out and uh, if you like this uh, subscribe to me I'm planning on putting more stuff up and uh, yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you think